says, uh, you know what I'm saying, so death do us part. And then six months later, she's divorcing your ass. So what do you think of punishment? The punishment is death. For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, when it not means to sin among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. The bears or fierce lions. Or unknown wild beasts. Unknown wild beasts. Full of rage. Newly created. Newly created. New shit is <laughs> crazy. Um, like all them sinkholes is popping up everywhere. There could be creatures coming out of them. Yep, yep. It'd be like some shit out. <laughs> It'd be like some other fantastic board, the mole man. You know the mole man? Now he down in the subterranean caverns. <laughs> He got the giant creatures. Yeah. He got a, he got the little uh, what's some things the the, the, the Morlocks or yeah. Yeah, the Morlocks or you know the little underground people with the yeah. big ass eyes. There's multitudes of yeah. them. Yeah, there's multitudes of multitudes. He got some creatures for your ass. Newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor. A fiery. Now if all this shit didn't exist, what would the Lord be talking about? You know, well, I mean, everybody known the dragons have done existed for thousands of years. Oh, there's a story that came out in the news a couple of maybe a three weeks ago. There's a professor, I forget what university, but there was a professor, a scientist. He was a scientist who worked for a university. He had found some, I think it was a triceratops skeleton, mm -hmm. and he was doing the dating and everything on it, followed every the procedure properly, <laughs> and he discovered that the skeleton was uh only what four thousand years old or something. Ain't that the one they fired or got rid of? Yeah, and they yeah. fired his ass. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it didn't it didn't uh it didn't match up with this. It, it, it didn't match with the official story. The dinosaurs lived 20, 30 million years ago, 120 million years ago, whatever. Right. It only lived thousands of years ago. Because he proved the dinosaurs lived along with men. Because the word dinosaurs is a new word. They just started using the word dinosaur recently. Before they were called dragons behemoths okay and there, there's all kinds of stories of dragons and behemoths okay like saint george they said he slain the dragon well they said i was spiritually talking about the roman empire too but you pull up ancient maps man you pull up a picture of an ancient map an old old map and look in the oceans they're having the oceans of dragon dragon coming the out sea, the, the sea dragon because yep, you got yep. different kind of dragons like right, the Chinese dragon is long, got wings on it, because he could go in and out that water. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? He could go. You got different types of dragons. Let me tell you something. Japan is right there in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Now they saw something. That's why they the ones coming out with Godzilla. Godzilla, and you they know? got all the monsters. Yeah, they saw some over there. You man. got Godzilla, uh, Gojira, the Biolante, right. yeah. all that shit. Man. They got them all. They got them all. What's your boy? Uh, what's my for destroyer? What's that one? Uh. Oh, Mothra, the, the three-headed. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's some yeah, bad shit, man. Yeah. They come up with all that, man. So they saw, they saw, we saw some in the ancient times when we was fooling around fucking with Japs over there. Man, there's still dinosaurs on the earth to this day. Mm -hmm. There's reports that over in Africa, I think it's somewhere up in the Congo, that it, there's a giant uh, triceratops running around with a family. Because see these devils, they, they don't go all the way up in those jungles. A lot of them, they go, they, they go on these expeditions in the jungles, deep in the Congo or in South America, in the, in the Amazon. And a lot of times they'll get bit by a giant mosquito. <laughs> they'll catch some disease and drop dead. Because right, right. <laughs> a lot of the scientists, they can't survive out in the jungle like that. You know, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke. They, they said uh, there's, uh, I seen natives on some documentary I was watching on Vice, and it was down in the, uh, there's this uh, uh, weird, weird uh, look like an Edomite, this white dude, he was, uh, he went down to the Amazon to find that frog, you know, the, there's a, there's a, there's a magical frog that if you lick the frog or you drink his sweat or whatever, it makes you hallucinate. But it takes you nearer to a death-like experience. Yeah, but there's some jakes down there that live down in the rainforest up in the, the Amazon. This They said there's creatures the scientists have never seen. But they said they see them all the time. Right, right. They said they seen monkeys with human faces. Wow. Yeah. Some weird shit, bro. This shit, I'm telling you, man. This devil ain't just shit on this earth yet. Nah. He ain't been everywhere. They, they, they got 
Just like that movie, uh, when they went down in the Amazon, that movie with the anacondas, they're really giant snakes like that would eat you. Mm -hmm. Giant yeah. snakes. Eat your whole fucking boat. Take the boat down, yeah. yeah. Giant snakes, yeah. Them things living in the wild. The Lord, the Lord done created some uh, some fearsome creatures, man. That's right. Like, he got those uh, little piranhas. They got the piranhas are so little that they'll uh, swim up inside of your dick. Yeah. And they sure. eat, eat your insides mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Different parasites. Different bacteria. Yeah, they said they'll swim up your, if you're taking a piss in the river, yep. they'll swim up your urine stream, go inside your dick. And just now you're pissing up. out. And it will swim up it. It'll swim, swim up, up it. Yep. That's crazy, man. Or, fil or filthy sense of scatter smoke, or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes, where not only the harm might- Sparkles out of that, yeah, shoot laser beams, I, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just like, uh, I forget the name of that movie, Kim John uh, Il's movie. Oh yeah, we said that. That was a bad movie. You watched that whole movie? Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. That's I right. how I saw it. Though. Oh no, it's not, is it? I either watched it on YouTube. Right? I remember we watched it though. Yeah, I think I got it. Maybe I was on Pirate Bay, maybe. Got it. Yeah, but actually, Kim John Un, or Il, he made this Godzilla-like movie, and he showed you in the movie how the, there's a, like a dinosaur-type creature, and he had to eat metal to grow bigger. Yeah. And the Bible tells you dinosaurs ate rock, metal. Yeah. Yeah. Eat metal and eat. rocks, and you know, eat. That's what he eats. You know what I'm saying? That's his morsels. Eating rocks. And they, they even say know. brontosaurus had to eat rocks. Man. That's in the Bible. Um, whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. People dying of fright. I was just watching a uh, sci-fi movie early, early this morning how somebody died from fright seeing a monster and all that shit, man. Yeah, you would too. Yeah. See some shit like that. Hell. They saw the angels until they dropped Yeah, the angels even scared up. Yeah, because you see an angel, that terrify you. A lot of people see them cherries and they get scared shit. Oh, yeah. There's a new video on T-Dog. A woman in Pennsylvania today saw a chariot up in Pennsylvania. And she said she was watching it. And she called 911, the cops. And they all, this is all in the video, too. Yeah. And they watched this chariot just sitting in the air for like over 20 minutes. She got on the camera phone and everything. The cops came and said, yeah, you know, we don't know what it is. They started calling the military. And she said it was a, she said she was scared for her life. She was scared to death from the sight of this thing. Man. Man. And they ain't, man, when these, when these chairs reveal themselves, man, man, these people have no clue, man. They have no clue. I got a script. Them things, they're, when they see them now, they're at a distance. They're far fucking away. But this gonna come a time, these chairs gonna be right up on your ass. You know? And the angels are gonna be up in your ass slicing a, a fiery sword. Swinging a fiery sword. I got it, let me get this. This is Luke 21 and uh, 25. And it shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. Like we, Talking earlier, there's so much crazy shit going on in this world right now. It's ridiculous. You want to talk about wars and rumors of wars? Mm. We got Russia fighting Ukraine right now, which is really a proxy war between Russia and the United States and NATO. You know what I'm saying? You got ISIS chopping off the heads of Christians. You got Israel fighting, uh, killing Palestinians right now. You get, you got the military police. Uh, you got martial law in Ferguson right here in um, good old USA. You know what I'm saying? There's so much wild shit going on right now. It's crazy. You can't keep up with all this, man. That's right. And we ain't even mentioned Greece. What's going on in Greece? Yeah, there's so much shit you can't keep yeah. up with it. Uh, Libya's crazy. Yep, yep. All, it's just nothing but nonstop war all across the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. Nothing but death and destruction. Come That's with town, great you? perplexity. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, it be, shall be distressed the nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And they hear men's hearts failing them for fear 
That's what he was just talking about. Yep, yep. Men's hearts failing you. Your hearts are gonna fail you, all right? When the shit hits the fan, yo, your hearts are gonna fail you. You're gonna shit yourself. You're gonna shit your britches. And these people are gonna wish and pray they were dead. Like in Revelation it says, these people are gonna seek death and they ain't gonna be able to find it. Yeah, they could definitely be a dead. They gotta get tormented first. And these people gotta get mentally and physically tormented before they get the final punch, that nuclear missile, take them out. You know? These people have no idea what's coming for them, man, for being wicked ass demons, man. But since nothing's happening right now, they can continue to be as they are. Yeah, they're comfortable. Dumbasses. They're comfortable, especially they got a good job. You know, or they got their EBT and they living with their mom and sister who got that job. And, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They just smoking weed, popping pills all day. Mm -hmm. When you when you just popping pills all day and getting high all day, man, you ain't in your right fucking state of mind. You don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You can't even function properly. And These people gonna wish they're gonna they be there, man. They're gonna wish. They're gonna wish. They're gonna wish. And it's gonna be funny as hell to us seeing somebody laying on the ground in torment, man. We're gonna laugh Their at mind it. going crazy because they wish they can get some sleep. You know what happens if you go two, three days without sleep, man? You you, you start to go crazy. You start man. to hallucinate. Yep. I've yep. done it many times. And that's what's gonna happen. These people, these people gonna get mentally and physically tormented by the Lord before they get taken out. Sometimes man. I still do that. So we gonna laugh. Sometimes I do that. I just, for some reason, I just keep it going and be up for like two, three days. You start feeling weird, man. Weird. You start shit be looking all different. Bodies but, just you have to get sick. Yeah, motherfuckers start looking like cartoons and shit. You gotta recharge your battery. You got to recharge that battery. That battery runs out. It makes you go crazy, man. It will make you go crazy. That program catches a virus. <laughs> shit. That's like that movie, uh what was that movie of Christian Bell, the Mecha uh the machinist? You see that? Oh your dude don't never sleep in the movie and he's going nuts. You gotta watch that movie, The Machinist, with Christian Bale. That's a badass movie. How it goes into how you do don't ever sleep, and he's always hallucinating, seeing shit. You yeah. don't know what's real, what's fake. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Um. Oh, let me read it. What you got? Go okay, I'll get this after you get that. The rest of that loop. When your fear cometh as desolation. What's that? Uh, Proverbs. Oh, yeah, okay. One, oh, yeah, seven. one of, yeah. That's when Proverbs. your fear cometh as desolation, yeah. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. That's pretty much the same thing. It's the spirit. Same thing. Even the yep. whirlwind, like the Lord said, his chariots come like a whirlwind. Yep. When your distress cometh as a whirlwind, and when your distress and anguish cometh upon you, now he's saying when it comes, that means it's coming. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge. We're reading out the one true book. It's not the Quran. It's not the Quran. What's the true book? The Bible, the Holy Bible. Do you say the Quran is not the true book? No. The Quran ain't nothing but a story. Full of paper. And the Bible is nothing but. Okay, you say that then. Say that then. Say that when the Lord is beating your ass. <laughs> All right, heathen. Ooh, I like hearing that. I like hearing talking shit. One of them bitches smell good. <laughs> um, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled there, with the There it is again, the fruit of your own way. The, the people call it karma. I looked at word karma before, I forget what it means. You can look that up on uh, etymology.com. Look at what? Karma. I mean, I, I just looked it up like a couple weeks. I done forgot already, man. Yeah, when well, you look up so many words, you can't remember all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, Eddie Maya, let me look it up. Well, this dictionary is bad, man. Oh, Eddie Maya line? Okay, it'll tell you. Like like yeah, karma is a Sanskrit word. Spell it. K A R M A. It had a, a meaning you're not ready for, actually. So I'll be looking words up all day, man. I'm okay. obsessed. Karma, Hinduism or Buddhism, the total effect of a person's actions and conduct during a successful phase of the person's existence. Regarded as determining the person's destiny, fate, destiny, and form of de de distinctive aura. Um, karma again. Yeah, if you put out an evil ore. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
determining a person's state of life and the state of his reincarnation as the effect of his past. And that is, and them Buddhists, they got reincarnation from the Bible. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's back in the ancient world, everybody believed in reincarnation. Okay, that's not people say, oh, we, you, reincarnation, that's Buddhism. No, you're stupid. Theology, theosophy, the doctrine of inevitable consequences, destiny, and in, fate. Inevitable consequences. A consequence, that means with sequence of events. Keep going. In theosophy, the cosmic principle of rewards and punishment for the act performed in a previous incarnation. Hey, that's a long ass fucking definition. Yeah, the good or bad emanation felt to be generated by someone or something. See, like I said, the, you're supposed to do one to others as you have them do one to yeah, you. I know, oh, there's more. Give me the etymology. I want to know where it, it don't tell you where the word came from. Yeah. It should say, uh, it's Sanskrit. Um, but so it's going to tell you the true it's meaning. It's yeah. usually way at the bottom. which is a right a lot of times. It said this winter is going to be... They have an 80% accuracy. It's going, to, it's going to be 20 times worse than last year. They said we're in for a fucking... Mm -hmm. A fucking... Hell of a winter. A hell of a winter. <laughs> so it's going to be dark. They and said it's going to be, Yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to be dark and cold. That's what they say. Yeah. It's going to be miserable. Mm -hmm. And let's pray that it's real. Let's pray that it's true. And the Lord said, pray that you're not flight be not in the winter. <laughs> And then it could be a flight this year. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's coming quick. It's coming quick, man. It's coming quick. All this shit happening ain't gonna slow down, none. It's gonna more shit that happened, it's gonna get more more shit. And the next thing you know, it's gonna be so much shit happening at one time, you're gonna know what's the Lord doing. Because none of this shit that's going on ain't gonna calm down. It's gonna it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Oh look bad. Oh here we go. Here's the karma. It comes from uh This is it right here. It comes from the uh, proto interpenian root, where KWE, whatever. It means to make or to form. Like karma, that's what it means. You make, you're forming your own destiny. Like, even though it's the Lord that's in control, but when you're constantly doing people dirty, when you're constantly ripping people off, backstabbing motherfuckers, I would say you build up a reputation as a piece of shit. Yeah. And then, People up, they gonna start treating you like the piece of shit that you are. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you, right. you made it that way yourself. That's right. But I always thought that was interesting. I remember I forgot the meaning, but yeah, karma means to make. <laughs> That's pretty dope when you think about it. I'm about to see if I can download one of my tablets. Oh, there's a there's a Eddie Monline app in the app store. I mean. It's I usually, usually use Eddie Monline and Wiktionary. You ever use Wiktionary? It's like Wikipedia. Yeah, I've been Wiktionary. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Okay, and Urban Dictionary is good too sometimes. You just gotta get the, uh, the alternate definition. I, I, I never gotta finish my script. Oh. 
Uh, let me read this again. This is uh, Luke 21 and 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Mm. Like we was talking about, man. You're going to have nuclear war. The Lord going to come out of the sky. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That's those clouds. Your boy had a skull and shit on his face. Look like a, a super villain from a comic book. But the Lord said he coming with a cloud out of the sky. Okay? That's talking about a so-called UFO. That's what we was talking about earlier. Because remember the scriptures say when the Lord shall come like a whirlwind mm. with his chariots to rebuke the flames of fire and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? Just like the Lord said in Matthew 10 and 34. He said, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. Right. Okay? Right. You see the other day, they had a block off from the uh, United Dairy Farm to, I think, all the way down to the next light. Or this light. A bomb scare This motherfucker's about to blow up from gas. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> we don't, this I wish they would blow man. that motherfucker up. Yep. It was about to blow up. That's probably the most popular store street. on the street. Yep, right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Man, we seen half the Buckeye team go up in there for their marijuana sure, yeah. utensils. That was when uh, <laughs> with, uh, the basketball, the football team. Troy Smith. I found that video at home, I got it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, hell no. That's the ancient. Yeah. That's when we was teaching right there. Yeah, we was right over there. They kicked us out of there. We could have stayed over there. Though. Yeah, we probably could have. Yeah. We just came over there. It's better we over there. We better walk over here. We facing the east. Yep. That's right. That's all spirit. We facing towards Jerusalem. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, when these things begin to come to pass. Look up, look up. It says to look up. Okay. Look up. They're talking to the sky. When these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads for your rege redemption draw nigh. That, that goes back to swing low. Sweet chariot coming for to carry me home. Yeah, that's bad too. Talking about how did the lyrics go going by the River Jordan? Okay. Yeah, we might as well bro we can do it a couple of extra, you know what I mean? Okay, man, this is important. Okay. Yo, Sherry, that, that's your salvation. Because it's it just clearly said that our, our redemption draw of nigh. When we see them chariots come out of the sky, that our redemption draw up nigh. Nigh means near. So the Lord said he's gonna save you with those chariots. And that's exactly what it's talking about. That's how we're gonna be saved. Because America's gonna be destroyed by fire. All right, and right before it gets destroyed, he's beaming up his elect and he's gonna save us. They should, they, the people, the scholars know this, man. Esau knows this. That's why you had that movie, The Knowing. And right before America and the Earth got destroyed in the knowing, uh, and, and so-called UFOs came down and started saving people. Where do you think they got that from? They got that from the Bible. Because they was talking about the Bible the whole movie. And then in that movie, they showed you the preacher, somebody in the preacher got burned up. Here we go, right here. Swing Because these preachers don't know shit. The, the preachers are not teaching about the chariots of the Lord. They don't know what that is. They don't know. They don't know. They, can, they can't break it down to you. That's right. That's right. So they have no business opening this book up, having heard it. None. Talking about they teaching. They preaching. They preaching. What, well, what's the gospel? Jesus, Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Oh, I looked over Jordan. What did I see? Coming to, for to carry me home. They Hold up. Why were the slaves singing about Jordan? That, that's in Israel. Right. Why are they singing about Jordan? That's right. Okay, because they, they, they is Israelites. That's why. That's right. And they know about Jordan, yep. the River Jordan. They know that John the Baptist baptized the Lord in the River Jordan. I look over Jordan. What did I see coming for the carry? Oh, another good point. While the Lord was being baptized in the River Jordan, the Most High came over in the cloud, and out the cloud he said. This is, is my son in whom I am well pleased. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. No, my fault. Go ahead. A band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me if home. If you get there before I do. Tell all my friends, I coming too, coming for to carry me home. I'm sometimes up, I'm sometimes down, coming for to carry me home. But still my soul, let me get the uh, other song. Coming, but still my soul feels heavenly bound, coming for to carry me home. Let me get this other. What's that? So, uh, we um, bring this out all the time. You gotta keep bringing it out. Cause, just cause uh, we, we already out. covered this before, don't mean, Everybody already seen that video, you know what right. I mean? Because somebody might be watching this channel and this is the first video they seen. They ain't, and they ain't gonna watch all the videos. Right. We got hundreds of videos. So oh. you, you gotta keep repeating yourself. Right, this is, um, she's coming around, she'll be coming around the mountain. Yeah, that, she's, she'll be coming around the mountain song. Oh. That, that's a, that, those ain't the right words. The devil changed the words to that song. Right, right. Okay, read the real lyrics. Oh, who will drive the chariots when she comes? Oh, who will drive the chariots when she comes? Oh, who will drive the chariots? Oh, who will drive the chariots? Oh, who will drive the chariots? Oh, will drive the chariots? Oh. And Ray, this is a slave song. King, they, they, they call this an old Negro spiritual. Right, right. King Jesus, he'll be driver when she comes. King she Jesus, comes. King Jesus gonna be driving them chariots, okay? She'll be loaded with bright angels when she comes. Like we read in the book of Psalms, the 68 ch chapter, <laughs> that said that the, the, the chariots of the Lord are 20,000. <laughs> she will neither rock nor totter when she comes. She will run so level and steady when she comes. Level and steady. Them chariots, they can, they can be as silent or loud as they want. You know what I mean? She will take us to the portals when she comes. What's a portal? A portal's a door, okay? Like the Lord said in my father's house of many mansions. Let me read the rest of this. The Corinthians are spiritual bodies. We ain't gonna get there until they're spiritual bodies. But in the meantime, before we do get there, man, torment in hell is the gift of the wicked. Torment in hell, suffering, bloodshed, cannibalism. Right, let me read this again since we just read about the chariots. This is Luke, what am I, 21 and 28. And when these things, uh, let me read 27 again, my fault. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, which is a so-called UFO, with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draw off nigh. It don't get no more clear than that, does it? Right, right. It don't get no more clear than right. that. What else could that be fucking talking about? What else is that? Exactly, break it down. We just, you know what I'm saying? Your preacher ain't gonna teach you that. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is nigh at hand. So likewise, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. That's right. So, I mean, that's the point on that, man. Right. And we see the signs. That's right. And signs he was talking about. What was the signs he mentioned? All the wars and rumors of wars. There's so much conflict, this in great perplexity. Mm. There's so much confusion and chaos going on in the earth right now. There's none like the world has ever seen. That's good. We gonna wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? We can give all praises. So yeah, how about show me how shine? You know what I'm saying? You give uh, shout outs, double honors to the elders, the great millstone. Okay. Double honors to the apostles now. To the apostles. <laughs> oh yeah, the apostles. Well, everybody, I, they probably, I don't. Everybody try to call themselves elders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The apostles, that's a good word because that means they sent out on a mission. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, not everybody was appointed to be an apostle. Hey, watch some food start using apostles. Well, yeah, because. Yeah, Jim, Great Millstone, they all, you know, they'll call themselves apostles. Right, now watch everybody else start calling themselves apostles. Right. Now, now all of a sudden, Elder Nathaniel is Apostle Nathaniel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? General Gehenna, or Johanna, or he's now Apostle Gehenna. You know, that's how motherfuckers do it. They just some biters. Right. They can't come with their own, with their own spirit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's biters, parrots. Charlatans, swindlers, scam artists, snake oil salesmen, 
like your old self, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get this shit together. Yeah, man. Death to America. Death to all these adulterous ass bitches. Death to all these faggot ass weak bitches. Call themselves men. Okay? Death to all these fucking Muslims and all these heathens coming out here bringing all their filth and heathenisms with them. You know what I'm saying? Who else we got with death upon? Man, we got some shit talking to us about some fucking Muslim bitches. Man, some Hamite bitches. Man, the Lord gives me that power, I'm gonna rape those bitches, man. The ones that were single, that don't have a husband, they get raped. Some Hamite bitches. Okay? You, you, you single bitches? Talking you shit. bitches are getting raped. Okay? That's all there is to it. That's a spoils of war, okay? Booty. Booty. Where do you think the word booty comes from? The word booty, I'm gonna get some booty. That comes back from the spoils of war. I got some booty, okay? And we're gonna get some booty, all right? We're gonna get plenty of booty. You know what I'm saying? And not the kind that stinks. Hallelujah, amen. I pray the Lord destroys this shit. I can't, I can't, man. I hate this place. America's a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a steaming pile of dog shit. All your class are. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed? You know that? Bunch of faggots. Alright, man. You can just turn the camera on. Hey, turn this off. Alright, here I get it. Let's go.